Labor. Lieutenant Fry. What are you, cutting in? I'm here on police business. Oh. The DNA test results are in. I'm in the clear, baby. See, tonight is my lucky night. It's wonderful. Look, well, let's keep this low profile, shall we? What exactly are you doing? I'll explain it down at headquarters. I'm not going to headquarters with you. I'm not going anywhere with you. You know, this will go a lot easier on you, Lavery, if you cooperate. I have been cooperating all over the place. Okay, I gave you my blood. I've answered all your questions. I happen to be innocent. If you looked at the test results, you'd know that I was innocent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay right about here. Don't spoil the party for everybody, Lavery. Let's get away from me, all right? I didn't do anything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sweetheart, just go home now. Come. Ryan Lavery, you're under arrest for the rape of Christine Montgomery, oh, no. a.k.a. Kit Fisher. Oh, no, this is wrong. You will have the right to remain silent and to refuse well, to answer the question. Can you do this, question. Lieutenant you Fry? You understand? Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? You have the right to an attorney and to have an attorney present during questioning. If you can't afford one, an attorney will be appointed for you free of charge. Do you understand your rights as I've explained them to you? No, this can't be happening. You just can't. This is insane. No, this is, this is more than insane. This is impossible. He did not rape anybody. You cannot arrest him when he's innocent. This is un-American. They only do this in police states. Look, we can do this the easy way. We can do this the hard way. It's up to you. Your choice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going anywhere with you. You understand me? I did nothing to that woman. She and I both know that she's lying through her teeth. All you gotta do is check my DNA against the stain on her dress, all right? But if you want to keep this up, you go right ahead. I'm gonna slap a big fat lawsuit on you. I'm gonna sue you for false arrest. I'm gonna sue the whole damn police department. And then I'm going after her. After I scratch her eyes out. You want us to go back to the honey watch? Derek, this is ridiculous. You've been sworn to uphold the law, but you're, you're conducting a kangaroo court Thank here. you, Miss Kane. I'm going to have to ask no you to keep on this. you have no authority whatsoever to come in here. This is a private home. This is a private party. It's a charity ball, for heaven's sakes. Don't you have any respect? The DA gave me the authority. I'm here on his orders. I see. Well, then I will call Jackson. I'll call Jackson right away, and I'll set him straight, because Ryan Lavery is innocent. Fine. Go ahead. Call him. What is this? Has the whole town gone toast Honey, over? Oh, oh, Mr. Delaney, but if you're here, you, you have to help us here. Go ahead, come. No way, Derek. You're over the line here. Come in here. Well, Trevor, 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 save it for the DA. He's I'm the telling one you, Derek, here. I don't know what you and Jackson are cooking up here. You can't harass this guy without probable cause. Well, I've got probable cause, all right? What? What? We have proof that Ryan Lavery raped Christine Montgomery. Oh. The only thing you've got is Kit Fisher's word for it. And speaking from first-hand experience, I can tell you that's not worth a whole lot. Tad knows what he's talking about. Kit Fisher has once before victimized Tad Martin by falsely accusing him of rape. Quiet, everybody, please, just quiet! Uh, quiet! The forensic report came in from the lab tonight. Ryan Lavery's DNA matches the semen sample from the victim's clothing. Thank God. I, I, I don't know what kind of incompetence ran that test, but you tell them to go back, and you tell them to run it again because they made a mistake. Okay, there's no possible way my DNA was a match. No mistake, no mistake. Forensics double-checked. Well, when somebody's lying, okay, this is a setup. You know, according to you, everybody's lying. But you know what? You're going to get your day in court. Jackson Montgomery is out to nail me. I did not rape that woman. Yeah, perhaps, according to your definition of sex. I didn't have sex with her at all. What is the matter with you people? You can't just swoop in and destroy a man's life over a blood sample. Derek, I assume you have a warrant. For what? For my client's arrest. Trevor... <laughs> I don't need a warrant with probable cause in a, in a felony case. Wrong. To arrest a man in his home, you have to have a warrant issued by a judge. No. The Minutemen fought King George for this a couple of hundred years ago. We ain't giving it up tonight. Well, this is Edmund Gray's and Dimitri Merrick's house, not Ryan Lavery. Am I right? You're right. Ryan moved out. No, he's lying. No, uh, you go up to their room. All of their stuff is still in their room. Everything. All of Jillian's clothes, Ryan's, everything. Barrett, I think you've got a riot brewing huh? here. Maybe you should call off your dog. I am not letting this suspect out of my custody. Okay, Derek, I'll tell you what we'll do. You, me, and my client will go someplace private. We'll talk about this. We won't ruin the party. What do you say? Fine. Fine. 
Show's over, folks. Let's go. Yeah. Wait for me, wait for me. No, you're staying here. You're I'm, getting away. I'm his wife. Nothing is gonna happen to your hubby. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for that disruption, but uh, let's all please remember why we're here and go back to enjoying ourselves. Thank you. Well, we uh, go someplace quiet, okay? Come on. I am so sorry. Jillian, of all places, to find out that your husband's a rapist. Don't you dare say that about my husband. Look, isn't it better that you found out about him now? Cal, I'm not gonna bite your head off now because you're new in this town and I like you. The last thing I need right now is sympathy or advice from somebody who's trying to break up a perfectly happy marriage. Jillian, wait. No, I have to go to no, Ryan. No, let Trevor sort this out. And until he does, I want you to move back into this house where you belong, with family. Ryan is my family. And I what belong. if it's true that Ryan did rape Jack's sister? That must have been rough. Oh, David, you have no idea. I've never felt so bad in my whole life. I can imagine having your faith in somebody you love utterly shattered in front of all those people. Realizing you picked the wrong person to fall in love with. You must feel like the whole world just crashed around you, swallowing you up whole. Ryan promised me. He swore that he never made love to Kit Fisher. We believe what we want to believe, Princess. Even in the face of what is obviously true. And what do we get for our faith? Our support? All of our loyalty in those who betray us? Nothing but heartache. It's all right. You go ahead and cry. David is here. You're telling me it was only a 70% match. That's correct. You're gonna walk in here and arrest my client on a 70% match. Save your argument for a jury. It's lost on me. It wasn't 100%, Derek. Not 98%. But a freaking you, you 70%. You know good and well the juries have convicted with less than a 70% match. I don't know that. The odds of anybody else coming that close on a DNA test are astronomical, which is exactly what Jackson's experts are gonna support. You got no proof it wasn't consensual sex, Derek, that created this stain from which you get a 70% match on my client. Did you put a sock on it? All right, all right. I'll tell you what. You both are going to get your day in court. Good. But right now, I'm going to go get that warrant from Judge Harriman, who I'm sure is going to love being disturbed at this hour. Sorry, Derek. <laughs> And since you, my friend, are forcing me to do it. You bet your pippy I And since I don't want your boy's case to be thrown out on a technicality, I'm going to go. Oh, and, um, by the way, I'm requesting that uh, Mr. Lavery remain in this room. Why? Because if he doesn't, the officers I have posted at the doors and at the windows are going to be very angry. You're keeping him under house arrest. Just be here when I get back with the warrant. They're gonna railroad me, aren't they? Not as long as I can hoot and holler, they won't. I'll be right back. You also said you didn't have sex with her. Did you? I need to know the truth, Ryan, right now. Jillian, I know I don't have the best track record when it comes to being straight with people. Okay, even our marriage started out in, in a lie. I played the rich boy until Kelsey spilled the beans. I even lied to the immigration department. So did I, but that's not what I'm asking you. Okay, look. 
when I was a kid, I used to lie to, to get myself out of trouble, to, to protect myself, to, to, to get what I wanted. You see, I, it's so ingrained in me, I could lie without even thinking about it. So, um, so you did a half sex with Kid Fisher? No. Jillian, you've got no reason to believe me. Everybody's gonna believe that stupid DNA test down there, but may God strike me dead right here, right now, if I'm not telling you the absolute truth. I swear on the love that we shared that all I did with that woman was kiss. How did the, the DNA... Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a clue. It wasn't mine. Look, either somebody's trying trying to set me up for, for... to take the fall for somebody else or the DA faked evidence. And, um... What, what about the mask? The mask... You, she said he was wearing the, ra the rapist at the bar that night. I, look, she threw it at me. I left the bar with it. I threw it in the parking lot. Anybody could have come and picked it up. I told the cops that. Well, then I'll just tell the cops to keep looking until they find the real rapist. Yeah, baby. Look, they're not gonna waste their time, okay? They got me. They got this bogus DNA test. Montgomery's gonna throw me in front of a trial so fast. And if they find me guilty, you understand I could get 25 years to life. No, Ryan, that is, that's impossible. Listen to me. The only way for me to get out of this thing is for me to lie under oath, is to say that I had consensual sex with that woman. But I'll tell you something, I've been lying my whole life to get myself out of tight spots, and I am not gonna do it this time. I had sex of no kind with that woman. Okay, look, forget about that, okay? Just forget about the jury. All I really care about right now is whether you believe me. Maybe do you? Do I believe you? That's the question. And here is my answer. <sighs> if I believe you a thousand percent, then so will the jury. <sighs> Sweetie, look, you're a little prejudiced, okay? You're my wife. I don't see it going down that way. They're gonna stack the evidence against me. I will not let you rot in a moose gal. Who's gal? Whatever, you will not go there. Oh, okay. And how do you plan on stopping? I'm, I'm gonna take things into my own hands. Dare I ask what that means exactly? I'm, I'm gonna do what I should have done a long time ago and, and just do it. Wait a sec, Jillian, where are you going? Jillian, I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, I cannot believe this is happening to me. Jillian, please do not make things worse than they already are. Why don't you just admit that you made a stupid mistake and then this whole thing will be over? All right, you made the mistake by marrying this monster. You're not a monster, you conniving witch. You're a fool. And you're a vicious slut. Shut up, Jillian. Hey, don't talk to my wife that way. Why don't you tell the woman you're with here to shut oh, up? Oh, uh, what are you going to do? You're going to attack me again? Hey, 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 get your hands on me. Like, that's it. Hey, that's hey, it. Bail is set at half a million dollars. Sir, we don't have that kind of money. Hey, We're poor. Just cool it, Jane, okay? Come on, sir. What kind of a man are you treating an innocent man like he's a common criminal? Who are you and what are you doing in my courtroom? It's the white, Your Honor. I apologize. Excuse us. I think I deserve a 10 minute break. Hey, Haley, help me. 
I'm such a loser at plotting escapes like that stupid toy pistol. Let me guess, you want to break Ryan out of jail again? No, he's not in jail yet, but he will be if I don't get him away from there. Forget it, Jillian. It's called aiding and abetting. I don't care. I can't lose Ryan after we just found each other again. My heart will break into a million tiny pieces. Please, Haley, I am begging you. I cannot do this by myself. All right, I'm in. I'll help you. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, all right, forget about it. Um, listen to me. I have a plan. Here's what we're gonna do. 